Welcome back, awesome Astro fans and subscribers. Hey, another Joy Toy review. This is the women's squad, the Skeleton Forces Hell Grim Reaper. Look really cool. They've got equipment on the back, including exo armor, which I like the look of, but I think it's quite impractical at the moment on action figures of this size. It hasn't really worked out to make it really nice. Um, let's open this up and have a look. I am looking forward to this set. Okay, open and up and out. This is part of that Battle for the Stars series. Starhawk 12 Peron Patrol. And just shows us what that what it comes with in the set. And how the figures assemble. Okay, so the figures, three figures. And I love the look of this figure already, especially that red on the back as well. Really nice looking. Fantastic. Number two. Not quite as good, but again, really, really nice. And number three. Phenomenal. I love the head sculpt and that sort of white light hair. Very, very cool indeed. Okay, equipment. So they have got an equipment box. Inside the equipment box we have spare heads to go inside the helmets. Three of them. One, two, three. We've got one, two, three, four spare hands. And it looks like we have two right and two left. But they are all like all you see. So the left hands are like this, the right hands are gun articulation. We've got should be three pistols, one, two, three pistols. We've got some knee pads or shoulder pads, whichever one or elbow pads, whichever one these are, those are. We've got more of these uh little carabiner things which look pretty cool. Hard to see. We end up saying dark to do this against this. Use this. Here we go. Got two of those. And we have uh, six spare joints. Looks like two elbows, two wrists, and two knees. Okay, let's put those back in there. And I'll put the pads back in for now as well. Uh, looks like, are they knee pads or elbow pads? Possibly one the other. Obviously, I'm not going to look at those just at the moment. Okay. We have their helmets, which unfortunately will not go over their heads. I tell a lie. Just about. Not really. Uh, we'll have to go over the spare heads it came with. And now I'm going to get my head stuck in there. No. Okay. So we have... Through these all say 12 on, they look pretty damn cool. We have assault rifles, don't like this one, don't like that one because of the bar on the bottom. For me, that makes it far harder for a figure to hold. We have this one here, a bar again, but that one should be slightly easier. And we have this awesome looking assault rifle, sniper rifle rather. But that stock is a bit long, so I wonder if they can hold it. No draw barrels. And we have this exo armor for lower body and upper body, which although it looks nice, we've seen it before on their other figures. Um, check out my my Tourism Company, 19th. Review to see the exo armor, how it works. It's okay, but they lose a lot of articulation, so I won't be using it in this review. Okay, let me take out these heads again. These are just blank heads, which you which you uh, put on the bodies and put the helmets on. But I feel they might be a bit small for this. Are they small? Oh, no, it's okay. Not bad. Okay, so let's choose a figure and look at articulation. I'll take my favor on this, this white-haired one here. Looks the absolute part. So head, left, right, down, a little bit up. This scarf gets in the way, small side to side. Shoulders, 
arm is quite bendy on the shoulders so she goes over the 180 which is cool bicep bend very very nice look at that gets over 90 on both uh, left hand is like this and right hand if they're gonna take less like this she has forwards backwards dips out the side turn and she has waist turn as well she has thigh twist she should go further but this stuff on her legs gets in the way on these splits Forwards okay backwards yeah, not so much double kneecaps but again in fact if you forget that again look at that that's as tight as it goes a uh, fantastic on double kneecap on the other leg not quite as much because the uh, equipment gets in the way feet her feet turn she gets a not a great tippy toe to be fair dorsal flexation pretty damn good and she has toe articulation awesome so she can do things which other figures can't do such as let me see if i can do it come on such as that balancing on toes on the back leg and her feet twist as well as well as turn great i love this a lot so so good okay now let's see what she looks like with a generic blank head great for an android army as well and let's put on these helmets on top I think I don't really like her scarf. It looks a bit too, I want to say feminine with this sort of gear on, whereas this one looks far more combat ready. You know, and this one, in fact, I reckon almost. There we go. This one, you don't need the generic head because of how it fits on nicely as it is. Okay, it looks pretty cool with the helmet as well. Okay, how does she hold? In fact, I think ooh, the neck barbell came out. Good thing I've got some little tools here. In fact, no, let me not use that. Let me use some proper pliers rather than wasting time going, will it come out? There we go. So I think she's the only one who needs the generic head because she's okay and she looks like she might, yeah, and she's okay too. In fact, because her head is slightly wider, so she needs to have a generic head that others don't. But however, I think that's a bonus because it means I get extra spare generic heads. Okay, weapons, I'm not looking forward to this. I know this weapon from Joy Toy. Their figures don't hold it particularly well for shooting. Let's see if she's going to be a surprise any different. Because her sculpt is different. She's more, more petite. Single-handed, she holds it really damn well. But getting a double-handed pose with the uh, stock into the shoulder is not going to happen. You'd have to shave that off, this bottom one here. Uh, but she can hold it. The other gun, okay, let's go for this. And this one is, in essence, the same, so I won't try that one. This one is different, but again, it's still got a bar I don't like connecting but she does hold that particularly well, that's got to be said. And it looks like... Oh yes. And she holds that with a stock into her shoulder too. This gun 
is a winner. Really, really good. Okay, and let's try this sniper rifle. I'm more happy that there's no bar across here, but that stock is quite long. So I think it's going to be a struggle for any of these to hold it nicely, but I'm happy to be proven wrong. In fact, I hope I'm proven wrong. This is one of the things that I've said before many times. One of the things I like about Acid Rainbow figures is that the stocks normally can go into the shoulders and they can still hold the guns nicely because they sort of measure the stock and make sure it fits nicely. Joy Toy, not so much. Though Joy Toy are really good at holding pistols. So you see, she can't get that stock into her shoulder to hold the gun. So for her, it might be a case of, okay, let's just do a an on-guard pose, maybe. Oh, an on-guard pose. I went, oh, because it slipped out of her fingers again. She is struggling. Let's try and change the pose then. Okay. And then the other one's going to get the short straw because she has to hold one of the guns. That's really, really, really awkward. Let's try the one I didn't try before, even though it's the same sort of handle setup. Oh, hello. Been on the been on the lash. Too much of the uh, the wacky backy, or maybe too much of the uh, strong drink. Who knows? Single handed, amazing. Two handed, impossible with the stock into the shoulder. But you can do other decent poses. If they don't let go of the handle. Great set, I think they look the part. Um, so this gun I'm really happy with. Sniper rifle stock I think is too long to hold properly. And the other ones I don't like. I'd have to do some cutting on that, which I might do in the future. Uh, so these other two, let's see how they are with their pistols. Now I will say this, Joy Toy do hold their pistols some of the best out of any figures. And in that I do include Acid Rain and Marauder and whatnot. Joy Toy just have a knack for holding pistols particularly well. However, this might be an exception. Let's have a look. Because there's no... The, uh, the trigger part, there we go, where the finger goes is so small, the finger doesn't go in there, it's not going to look particularly great. Do a bit of a, a chain bond. Da -da 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 da 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 did it, did it, did it, did it, Nice set, I do like these a lot. Um, I do recommend them. And this awesome, awesome little box with the stuff in, really good too. Fantastic looking set, I do recommend this. And I'm really glad I picked this up. I've been looking at this set for a while, umming and ahhing, then I got it, and honestly, I am happy. 
just those guns I would be in the future making some amendments to. Okay, this is Awesome Action Toys signing out saying please like, share and subscribe. I'll be back to more Awesome Action Toys videos for you. Check out my other videos. I've got loads on the channel. Loads of stuff for you guys to see and enjoy. Take care. Bye-bye.